everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch used canvas. I've put a light coat of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black down. I did that earlier today and there still are um, little spots of wet paint, but basically it's probably about 80 to 90% dry. And uh, let's go over the balance of my paints. Today I'm using all Blick paints. First one is Blick Primary Yellow. Next one is Blick Bright Red. The next paint is Blick Turquoise. My next paint is Blick Primary Blue. I picked some nice bright colors today. And Blick Chrome Orange. And my last color is Blick Violet. Okay, my pouring medium today is a little bit different. It is a combination of 60% Floetrol, 30% Mod Podge, and 10% GAC 800. Now that by itself is a thick pouring medium. So what I did is I put two parts pouring medium, one part paint, and I added two pretty good squirts of, a, of my water to thin it down. Now my water wasn't just plain water, it's a little combination of 90% water and 10% Floetrol that I just keep in a squirt bottle. And that's what I thinned it down with today. So let me show you consistency here. It still is a little thick on the thicker side. Just leaves a little trace there before it disappears. So today I'm going to do what I call a puddle pour plus and I have done at least one before, and I'm going to link that video also with this video, so you could go check that out too. And I may have done more than one. I'll have to I'll have to check that out. But what I do is I just put puddles of paint on the canvas, and then I tip it, and then I run some chains that I have through the wet paint, and we'll just see what happens. But for the part where I'm going to be putting down my puddles of paint, I will fast forward you through that section because it, it's kind of a lengthy process. But I will get started here. Oh, no silicone in my paint today.
everybody. I've got all my puddles down now. And I'll just get my cups out of the way. And next I'm going to torch and then I'll tilt, start tilting. I just did make these paints up so there are some bubbles coming up here, some air bubbles. So let's just start tilting. And like I said, this paint is a little bit on the thicker side. This is a really fun painting to do if you have children that like to do art. This would be a good one for them. It would take them a while to put all those puddles down. And they could get creative with the colors. You don't have to be so precise with this type of a painting. Just trying to get that corner down there. The far corner, if I can get it. Let's see if I can help it along here. And I'll try and get this covered down here. As you can see, the paint is moving slow. Okay. And I'll just try and get this corner over here. Okay. All right, I'm just going to check my sides here quick. and my corner. And I will fiddle with the, uh, the edges off camera. And I'm going to do another torch and then I'm going to start using my chains on this painting. Very, very bright painting right now. Okay, I'm going to get a couple more chains here. Excuse me just a minute. Okay. So 
So I have all kind, all sizes of chains here. So I'm going to start out with my small chain. And I'm going to make sure that you are in camera real, real well here before I get started. Looks like you're pretty good there. Okay. So I'm just going to take my chain and just lay it down and just drag it through the paint. And you can see all the fun designs that it's making. Just pulling paint from one side, one color into the next really giving it another dimension. You can wipe your chain off in between. makes it very very pretty okay and if you start out with your chain a little bit further apart like this you'll get that different look there too it's just a lot a lot of fun here there, I'm barely skimming the top. Okay, that's quite interesting. Now I'm going to take even a smaller chain here, see what we get. And I'll try and start it out wide again on the edge. And I get a wider trail that I'm leaving here. Okay, I'm going to try and make some circles now. Very pretty. So you can do as much or as little as you want with your painting, with your chains. I'll try it down here a little bit. Okay. Now I have a chain that's quite, it's beadier. I guess I'd want to say, as you can see. I'll just give this one a try and see if I like it. That does give a little bit different effect with all those beads in there. Okay, and now I'm going to go back to my first chain because that really is my favorite. And I'll try and start wide again down here. Okay, maybe just a little bit more down here and then I'll be done.
Okay, I think I will give it another torch. Maybe one more through here. I think this side needs just a little bit more here. Okay, another torch and then I'll get you down for a close-up. Okay, everybody, let's get you down for the close-up now. This is the upper left-hand corner. And we'll just go down the left-hand side here. Again, this was a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And I called this the Puddle Pour Plus because I put the puddles down and then just um, dragged a couple chains through it. This is the lower left-hand corner and I will take you up the middle. And right here is where you get the effect if you open up your chain a little bit and um, from the edge up, it, it gave you like almost like a little comb look there. And this is up the middle. Very bright, busy painting, fun to do. And here's another one of those that comb look there. And I'll take you over to the upper right hand corner here. A couple of those comb looks there. And I'll take you down the right side. And again, I'll link my last um, Puddle Pour Plus that I did in with this video. If you'd like to check that out, that would be great. And here's the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. And subscribe if you haven't, that would be great. Help my channel grow. Thanks for watching everybody. Take care. Bye for now.